Hi and welcome to the channel. I am Ehonia Obed and in today's video I'm going to walk you through how to transfer a file securely from your local computer to a remote server. We're going to be able to do this using the Linux SCP command. The SCP command is uh, similar to the CP command that you use in various Linux terminals and it helps us transfer files from our local machine to a remote server and vice versa. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to transfer a file from your local machine to a remote server. Then I'll end up writing a bash script to automate the process so that anytime that you need to upload a file to your remote server, you are just going to run that bash script and provide it with the necessary argument to easily upload the file. So let's get into the computer and let me show you what I mean. This is my terminal and before anything, I would have to connect to the remote server so one thing you need to know is that SCP works through the SSH protocol so you need to be able to establish a connection between your computer and the remote server using SSH for that matter I'm going to use SSH to log into this remote server I'm going to work with so let me quickly grab the IP address of the remote server alright so to connect, I, I am going to do a series of videos on SSH, so if you don't understand what SSH is, don't worry, pretty soon you will find videos on the channel. So basically to connect to the remote server using SSH, I have SSH, then the username that I use on that remote server, which at the moment is Ubuntu at, then the IP address, so this is the IP address to the remote server. And already I have done the SSH connection. So by running this, it's going to directly connect to the server without any request for a password or anything. So as you can see, this is me on the server. I have logged into the server and I'm going to this is the home directory, right? PWD. We are in our home directory. And I'm going to check all the files here at the moment. These are the files here. Eventually, I'm going to create a file which is just an empty file. I've called it a honia, and I'm going to upload that file to this particular location. So, hopefully, when we are done, if I do ls, you should find a honia as part of these files. So, now let's get started working on the command to upload a file. So, back in a new terminal, let's see this particular location creates a file. Um, let me create a file, call it Ehonia to begin with. So now if I do ls, you should find this file here, Ehonia. And I want to upload this Ehonia file to the server remotely. What do I do? The SCP command. So with the SCP command, the nature of the command or how the format that we use it is this way. SCP followed by some options. So I'll, I'll explain this soon then your from where are you getting the file from and to what location okay so this is basically how we use the scp commands the options are optional so you can get rid of this and it basically becomes scp then from so the path from or the file that you want to upload the path to that file then the path to the remote server or destination where you want to have your file uploaded to so now in our case the from is from this particular machine in even in this particular case it is on the very directory that we are in so we don't necessarily need to uh, create the absolute part we can just call the name of the file and the file is called ehonia then we proceed to the remote that is the to uh, destination and in our case the two is the server that we are trying to reach this particular server and we do that using once again the username at then the ip address nope let me go grab the ip address again so ip address yes the IP address, then the location, so column followed by the location or the directory in which we want to put the file. Since we want to put it directly in the home 
directory on the remote server which is this particular location where we are i'll just go ahead and use the title key then slash to say that home directory let me maximize this so that you can see what i've done so scp ehonia this is like the name of the file i could have written the absolute part but because i am in the current directory where the file exists i just use the name then the username followed by an at the ip address then i have the path to the destination directory so let's run this and hopefully it will upload the file ehonia to our remote directory so the upload is done 100 percent let's come here and do an ls and now as you can see ehonia has been uploaded here so that is how we use the scp to upload a file from a local device to a remote one i want to go ahead and remove this file then we are going to write a bash script to automate the process and already i've written the script just to save us time but then i will explain line by line what these things are doing in here so when you come into this bash script the first line here is just a shaban that is telling uh when whenever you are running it it prompts your computer that run it with this particular i mean run it with a bash system okay so you are going to use it like that is what informs it that this is a bash script and it should be run as such great then we are going to use conditionals to check because we are trying to automate the process we want to make sure that whenever the file is being called is called rightly so what you're going to do is that anytime you're calling the file you're going to pass some arguments the arguments will include one the name of the file that you want to upload or the path to that file then the username of the remote server as well as the ip address of the remote server finally we'll have the directory on the remote server where you want to put the file then in some or occasionally you may want to also pass uh, the directory where you have your private keys stored so as i mentioned earlier if you don't know what ssh is then you don't have to bother yourself about it but then for those of you who appreciate what ssh is you know when you're connecting to a remote server using ssh you require the key pair and in this case you need your private key because i have already configured my machine such that i'm able to easily ssh into this i do not necessarily need it to call my private key so what we are going to do is that using the bash script anytime you're calling the bash script so here upload file as we create it we save it as such let me show you this before we proceed then you change the mode of this file to make it executable so ch mode plus x then the name of the file and uh, hit enter this makes the file executable and that means now i can go ahead and call it this way so upload file then i pass in some arguments so this particular one that i have here is argument zero that's the name of the file itself is argument zero argument one is whatever i give it next followed by another one followed so we have this would be argument one this would be argument two this would be argument three and what i'm saying is that looking at how i'm implementing this bash script i want a minimum of three arguments but it could also come with four arguments so the first thing i'm doing here is checking if you provided less than three arguments if you provided less than three arguments then no i can't work with this because there is an extra argument that i need so i tell you i echo out something i say sorry you are using the script wrongly the right user should follow this pattern then i've stated the pattern for you so i have the script name followed by the path to the file that you want to upload the ip address of the remote server the username of the server then a path to your private ssh key if you are going to use that all right so once you have passed that in your argument is not less than three then you proceed to the else if statement here where i am checking so this symbols here that's the dollar and the hash symbol together is just getting the total number of arguments from the script that you are running so it tells us the value like 
it renders to the value so here if we have less than four that means you've already checked and it is not less than three before you get to this else if so if it is less than four it practically means there are three arguments so for the three arguments we are calling scp on the very first argument remember when we did our scp over here i hit scp then the name of the file so that's basically what we are saying the when you look at the usage of this it is path to file okay or name of file so if you are not you you are going to use the absolute path then it's path to file so that becomes your first argument then the third argument obviously has to be the username because that is what we use here the username okay then the ip address will be here so when we come here three argument three as i have is my username argument two is my ip address so as simple as that you have the dollar three is saying hey i want the value for the argument three then argument two okay then this part is like the part to the directory on the remote server that you want so basically that is how you run this uh, let me quickly run it and see so now let's run this script and see since you are using this format pay attention to the formats the first thing that we do is call the name of our file which in our case is upload file followed by the path to the file in this case it's just a honia because we are in the very directory that it's in then the ip address so let's copy the ip address copy that and paste it in there followed by the username in our case ubuntu and i don't need the path to the ssh so if you provide the path to the ssh then you are going to this part and as you see here we have the hyphen i remember i talked about options and i said i was going to explain later so there are optional values that you can provide to change the i mean the nature of scp but in this case we add the hyphen i to tell us where the identity file is which is your private key that you want to use so if you had a fourth argument and it is the path to your private key then scp will use that to get access to it all right now when we go ahead and run let me make sure that we don't have a honia already here so yes we don't have it on our remote server so if we go ahead and run this hopefully it should send a honia to that remote server great 100 percent transferred now let's come here and do another ls and here we are so we've been able to upload or transfer a file from our local computer to the remote server using a bash script and basically what's in here is just using the scp command except that now we have put everything into a script that we can easily use to automate the process i hope you enjoyed this video and you like the content if you did give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and i'll see you in the next video bye bye